What's up guys? This is Sound like Jordan here and we are back once again with another video regarding some Killer Instinct news. That's right guys, we have some brand new news regarding Killer Instinct and today it's going to be pretty darn exciting. Why today is pretty darn exciting? Well for those who do not know, EVO has started today. That's right guys, EVO has officially began today and we're kicking it off with the EVO weekend and I'm looking forward to that because you know with, with the EVO weekend we get new announcements for games and of course one of those announcements will be Killer Instinct, and that includes the final character and some other new things that we'll, that we'll be releasing for this game. And today, they did the Killer Instinct Evil 2016 panel, meaning they were just showcasing some new things that will be coming out in the future, as well as giving us some information for what's to come for the Killer Instinct franchise in general. And I'm looking forward to that because, you know, like I said, Killer Instinct, I love this game. It's the fighting game I put the most amount of time into, and I'm looking forward to you know, seeing what they have to offer in the future of this game. So, let's read this article. Let's see what happened today for Killer Instinct because, you know, I'm pretty darn excited. So, let's read it right now. Let's go. Evo 2016, Killer Instinct panel highlights. Today was a huge news day for Killer Instinct. The Killer Instinct team took the stage of Killer Instinct panel Evo 2016 and spilled the beans on Shadow Wars, the new multiplayer mode, and much more. Below is a list of highlights from the panel. Alright guys, so as you can see, this is a lot of things, but I will be reading it for you guys to see what's up and see what you guys have to know for Killer Instinct. So, let's go. Starting from the top, right here. Okay. Wukari, Isaac Torres, and James Goddard, and Adam Isby, and Adam Hart led the panel. Killer Instinct Ultra Tour. Fight for your share of $100,000, any way you choose. Evil 2016, 15000 Killer Instinct World Cup events, $45,000, partnership with Ultra Arcade. Killer Instinct Ultra Tour Online Matches, $40,000, powered by Faceit and Arena on Xbox Live. Killer Instinct Cup 2017, not final. Shadow Lords, Hub World has War Room, Barracks, Guardians, and Portland and Archives. As Adam is, yeah, I'm sorry about that. As Adam is Green puts it, Gargles is here to take over the world and you're here to stop him. Your goal is to complete missions and take away buffs from Gargles before he takes over the world. Every time you play this game, you will get daily rewards. These rewards give you items to make your character more powerful. Multiplayer daily rewards are coming soon, perhaps online aspects of Shadow Worlds. All right? You can apply buffs to your own character. You can make yourself super cheap to match how cheap Gargoyles is. You can buy buffs with in-game currency or KI gold. You can just earn all of it too by playing through the game. You don't need to pay for them. You can craft buffs. Some buffs you can use in the middle of a match by pressing the button. Other buffs are equipped for the whole match. These buffs manipulate the fight and you're able to combat Gargos as well. Every time you play through Shadow Lords, you keep all of your stuff. You get to the end, but Gargos kicks your butt. You still have all your stuff you earned in that playthrough for your next playthrough. Alright? <clears throat> Health is persistent in this mode, kind of like survival mode. So the Guardian can manipulate the match on top of the buffs. Vampire, Bat Dreams, Health, and Shadow Meter. It steals these resources for yourself. Fractured War gives any character armor and it regenerates. One Guardian helps with Combo Breakers, Physic Breaker. There's a Guardian that gives every character a parry. The War Room is where you deploy and take missions. Pretty cool unlocks if you beat Gargoyles in this mode. New multiplayer mode separated from rank allows you to take all the buffs and Guardians from Shadow Lords and compete against other players. Oh wow, wow. It, there, there wasn't a period, so you know, it, it, it seemed kind of odd, but yeah, you guys have it right there. Guardians and Buffs in Multiplayer. Shadow Lords Multiplayer Mode, Salt Guaranteed. Shadow Lords will be released September 20th. Whoa. That's pretty far. Did not expect that. I'll continue. Multiplayer Mode will come after that date. Killer Instincts 2.0, John and Noah from I Am, I Am 8-Bit, reveal album on menu. Handmade 3D scopes. Instead of just spinal for the cover, there's also a full board and save one cover. It was about a year and a half of getting the killer cuts released. Right problem wasn't sure if Nintendo had still rights to the music. There was thoughts that Nintendo owned killer cuts with the C, so they were going to make killer cuts with the K. Alright. Killer Scratches Vinyl has Killer Instinct sound effects for DJs. Matt, Jason, and Alex from Xbox Accessories announced that Killer Instinct Elite Controller component kit. Okay. 86 has released a new spinal shirt. There is still a new character who has been revealed this season. Tomorrow during the Killer Instinct Top 8, the next character will be revealed. Okay, so. Okay, so these were a lot of things. Let's actually discuss some of them. So with Shadow Lords, um, Shadow Lords, as you guys can tell, um, it's pretty much a new type of arcade mode. Um, you have certain buffs, you have certain equipment that you are able to equip with your character and use them to finally defeat Gargoyles. 
Gargos is said to be the ultimate boss fight and you know it's going to be the ultimate being and the ultimate boss battle where you're facing him in the Shadowlands game where he's going to um, be the final character you have to defeat him in order to save Earth. I said Earth. In order to save Earth. So yeah. But apparently he's extremely cheap. So they want to give you guys as much buff as as much buffs and as much equipment as possible to defeat Gargos. So I like what they're doing with this. Why do I like what they're doing with this? Because, you know, sometimes people they don't like to play the traditional exhibition match or they don't like to play the traditional lobby. Sometimes they want something different. And that's exactly what Shadow Lords will be offering. This is for people who like to, um, you know, have a different style of fighting games. People who don't take it too serious, like a casual approach, at least in my opinion. So, you know, I like the fact that they're going to be doing that. As well as um, they're also going to be doing that new multiplayer mode where you're actually able to carry your Shadow Lord buffs and equipment into the new multiplayer mode. So pretty much, they're going to be battling people with different buffs and different, um, different equipment. It's something unique, and you know, it's really interesting. The only thing I do not like is the fact that Shadow Lords will be released in September 20th. I did not anticipate that it was going to be released pretty much two months later. I mean, that's pretty darn far, at least in my opinion. Think about it. It's July 15th, and September is in two months. That's pretty far, and it's September 20th. That's like almost the end of September, so I don't know why they're doing the end of September, or, or at least near the end, but you know, it's it's pretty disappointing, I cannot lie. That's just how I feel, though. So, maybe they want more time to polish up the game mode, and, you know, if they're doing that, I have no problem with it. It's just it's just disappointing to see that this game mode will be releasing September 20th instead of this month. That's just how I feel. So, um, yeah, is there anything else? Oh, yeah, the last character and the new character will be revealed tomorrow during the top eight for Killer Instinct. So, you know, that's going to be extremely interesting because I cannot wait to see who the character is going to be. Many people are predicting it's going to be Idol. Some people are predicting it's going to be Jonah Dark. We do not know. So, you know, the only thing we have to look forward to is the top eight for the Killer Instinct Evo finale. So, you know, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be intense. And I'm looking forward to what they have to offer. So, yeah, guys, that's all I really have to say, though, regarding this video. Um, that's pretty much all the highlights from the Killer Instinct Evo panel. It was held today. I will be here to give you guys the next character reveal tomorrow because it's going to be insane. It's going to be extremely hype. And I cannot wait to see what character they're going to be revealing tomorrow during the top eight. Imagine that. We're watching the top eight. And on top of that, we're getting the character. That's that's so much hype and I cannot wait for it. So be on the lookout, guys, because I will be here to give you guys the next character reveal and all the information behind that character. So, you know, stay tuned. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for all your characteristic news on my channel because I will be here to give you guys every piece of information. Regardless, thank you guys for watching though. This is Sammy Jordan here. Peace, late, and of course, see you guys tomorrow with the next Killer Instinct video. I'm out and have a lovely day and stay tuned for more.